Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. Just wanted to do a bit of a Black Series collection update today. Um, just for personal reference really, you know, we've always got figures coming out and uh, more released all the time. So I, uh, it's cool to come back and just see where my collection was like in 6 months time, 12 months time and even further. So I'll just sort of go, by, go through it shelf by shelf. I have two big uh, Billy bookcases here from Ikea. Um, this one still needs a few more glass shelves replaced, um, wooden shelves replaced with glass ones. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully I'll get some doors for them as well. Um, just to help protect a little bit more, keep a little bit more dust out, I suppose. They're not too bad. They don't actually get too dusty in here, which is great. So we'll start at the top here, obviously sort of New Hope themed, got some Sand Troopers in the Dewback, some Tusken Raiders back there, R5, Luke Speeder, Jawa, Greedos tucked back in there in the dark. <laughs> so down here this is sort of, um, you know, Expanded Universe Legends, um, Gaming Greats, all that sort of stuff. getting a little full may need to separate this into multiple shelves at some point soon some great figures on that shelf now here we're going into sort of a bit of sequel trilogy stuff I have Zuvio hiding back there until he finds his way back into the cannon I know that some one of his species was spotted in uh, the Mandalorian, but uh, yeah, he had the goggles on, and Zuvio doesn't. Uh, he's my uh, Sith Eternal shelf. Ooh. I have 20 Sith Troopers and two Sith Jet, jet Troopers, and uh, Palpy sitting there carrying on. <laughs> now, this is one of my favorite shelves Snoke's Throne Room. Um, I'm still yet to get a second Snoke. I do want to get a second Snoke so I can have this one on display with my first order army and then have another Snoke that's cut up and laying on the floor there in front of his chair. Um, but yeah, I've got all the variations of Praetorian Guards on either side here. And uh, yeah, I, I really, really like this setup. Down here we've got some Return of the Jedi, which uh, is being nicely added to as recently with some great figures. Some couple of Gamorians in the back there. I added Wedge. A couple of couple of extra Astro Droids from one of those packs from a few years ago. It's my sort of custom Jedi look. Um, it's not really much of a custom. It's just some head swaps and stuff, but it works. Uh, down to Phantom Menace. Love to see some more characters from Phantom Menace. We've got Jar Jar coming next year. Uh, hopefully a child Anakin would be cool. Attack of the Clones, which is slowly being added to. I still need to get the new Phase 1 clone and the Phase 1 Lieutenant, the blue one. Dooku, a couple of battle droids, Jango Fett. Um, this Django Fett actually has the SH Figure Arts helmet. Um, just had to bore that out a little bit to get the pegged fit, but it uh, improves that figure 110%. Uh, Solo. Shelf. I uh, don't see many more characters coming out for this little film for a while. Um, Akira from, you know, later in the film would be nice. Underneath, we have Rogue One, and uh, if the rumours are true, we are getting, like they did with the Rebels recently, we're getting re-releases of the uh, main Rogue One crew, and hopefully Bodie Rook with them, uh, just repainted, uh, so it'd be nice to get some better looking Rogue One characters, like a better looking Jin, Cassian, I didn't think Baze and Chirrut looked too bad, but um, yeah, some updates would be great too. 
So we'll move back up to the top and move across. We've got a new hope. You know, this is just sort of tucked in the corner here. Again, I put our Captain Captain Marvel head on a spare look pilot there. Now the Rebels, this is looking great. Love having all these together. Still waiting on the updated Sabine, and then I'll probably display her without her helmet um, once I have that one. But I do like her with her helmet on too, so. Uh, here is my sort of Empire shelf. Sort of group them all together. Sort of ATAT pilots, snow troopers, General Veers, a couple of scouts, Piet. Tarkin and Dr. Ball back there. Vader, a couple of a couple of the newest stormtroopers flanking Vader there. Thrawn. Debating putting Thrawn up above with the rebels. Um, a couple of stormtroopers, jump troopers, death troopers, Krennic, shore troopers. And yeah, a little mouse droid down the corner there. This is sort of the uh, sequel heroes. Again, sort of seems to have been put on hold at the moment. Uh, Holdo has fallen down the back there. <laughs> and 3PO. Always figures falling down. Uh, that's a custom yellow lightsaber I made for Ray there. Um, I did get an extra couple of these rays and uh, did the head swap with the Jakku ray. Um, this fin has the head sculpt from that fin. It just looked a little bit better. Alright, so here's my first order shelf. I think I have about 12 or 14 snow troopers. Uh, there's a couple of flame troopers there. All fronted by different variations of Kylo Ren. I've got close to a dozen stormtroopers. Of course, fronted by Pyre, Phasma, and Cardinal. Hopefully, we get them more of the Knights of Ren, but I've got a few TIE pilots back there and mountain troopers. Pop down here, we've got Empire Strikes Back Heroes and a Minoc. I um, put him on a clear stand, he's just blue tacked to a uh, clear stand, so he's just sort of hanging there in midair. <laughs> but yeah, some of these new newer figures like Han, Leia, you know, they're a couple of years old now, but the update of Lando's great. Dagobah, Luke, and Yoda are fantastic. Uh, the Bounty Hunters. IG-88, I'd love to see a updated version. We've got Dengar back there as well. Yeah, IG-88 and IG-11 really need an update. Uh, a little bit of Clone Wars love here. We've got Grievous, a couple of Kamino Troopers, and Cad Bane, which is one of my favourite figures of all time. Um, hopefully, hopefully this week, the uh, Clone Wars Ahsoka... Um, Mando Loyalist and 332nd clone come in. Um, I do have to grab the Moldalorian figure off of eBay because it wasn't made available down here. Better got the uh, General Kenobi back there. All the clones that are available right now. Phase 2 clones. Definitely need an update for that Obi-Wan. I'd love to see some more Jedi. Now, Mandalorian shelf, this is looking like it's going to be expanding very, very shortly. Um, with some more recent reveals. But uh, I did actually, I do actually need to pick up another early Mando. Uh, well, the first one, because I did actually do a swap. So he has the Beskar pauldron, and I have that one spare. Um, but I'm aiming to have, like each look of Mando as it happens throughout the series. So there he's got his jetpack. And down the bottom we have Hoth. So 
So I have some variations of Hoth Troopers, Tauntauns, Wampers. I am actually looking forward to the updated Luke in the archive line. Um, that's a head swap with Bespin, Luke. Um, again, that's one of my another one of my favourite characters. That I uh, cut that face off of a older Marvel Legends Black Panther, and uh, yeah, put it on there. So it'd be nice to see some more variation among the troopers, rather than just a couple of different white guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the Black Series collection. I do have some uh, boxed figures around the room. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it at that for now. That is my Black Series collection as of today, which is the 15th of November 2020. Thanks for tuning in, folks. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and uh, tune in because I've got some more videos coming up very soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.